What's up guys, Rob from All Things Wood, Heat and Maple, out in the sugar bush right now, checking out my buckets. We've got a really good run going, so I'll make sure all my buckets are not overflowing and uh, all the taps are doing what they're supposed to do, not dripping down the down the uh, the hooks or anything like that. But here's what I wanted to show you guys. A lot of people ask, do I plug my tap hole after I pull my spiles? The answer is absolutely no. This is an old tap hole. I don't know if you can see it in there but that tree has filled it in beautifully. It's gonna keep filling it in. That's just bark around it. That's what it should look like. Here's another one, a little bit higher on the tree. You can see how much difference there is. A couple of things to note here. This tap was probably driven a little bit too heavily. Heavy hammer, cracked the bark a little bit. You don't wanna see this if you can manage it. You wanna avoid that. So when you're tapping in, as soon as you hear that sound change from a thunk, thunk, thunk to a tink, 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 that's when you know you're in deep enough. But again, look at this. That tree has done what it does naturally. It's sealed up itself and that hole is no longer a problem. And here's something for you to consider. The pros out there up in Vermont, New Hampshire, Quebec, wherever, they're doing, they're tapping thousands of trees. There's no way they can go out and fill in every one of their tap holes or any of them for that matter. And you've got some of these families and companies have been doing it for years. Some maple trees have been tapped for generations, hundreds of years. So let the tree do what it needs to do, um, heal itself naturally. What you can do for your trees is make sure you're tapping the right diameter, not too small. Use the right drill bit, get a nice clean tap hole. Go to the depth that's appropriate. One and a half inches is probably the maximum. One inch is usually more than enough. And I think you'll find over the years, your tap holes will heal beautifully. And as you're going into this, if you're tapping for the first year, you're definitely gonna be doing it next year. So you might as well just give it up because you're in it. Check out your tap holes from previous years and that'll give you an idea of whether or not you're putting a little bit too much pressure on that hammer when you're tapping in. Um, so for the example I just showed you, that was a nice clean tap hole. You barely even notice it. But sometimes we get a little aggressive. This is from many years ago, but you can see this bark has kind of opened up. Still healthy, I've got new bark in here, but you want to avoid that if you can. Uh, the less you can tell, if you've about old tap holes, the better. If you have trouble finding your tap holes on a tree you know you tapped, that's telling you you did a good job because um, if you can't find the tap holes, that means the tree really healed itself up very well. And of course, you need to know where the tap holes are because you don't want to be too close to other tap holes. So if you're curious about that, check out the video up here and that'll show you all about where you should be tapping your trees to avoid dead wood and dead space. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks.